Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you what is added in the latest firmware 1.1 which is recently released and also Easy Studio which you can use to remotely control your power supply. <clears throat> the most important feature in firmware 1.1 uh, is data logging or internal data logging that means that you can instruct power supply to start logging selected output values like voltage, current or power and the logged data will be stored on the SD card. So to enable data logging we also add support for work with SD card. Please note that both features data logging and SD card file management is supported using skippy commands only in this film release. First we'll see how to use skippy commands for SD card file management and for that I'll use Easy Studio as announced to establish control with power supply and to exchange some commands and see what is possible with SD card. I need to open my instrument on this side and to switch on power supply connection could be either Ethernet or serial now I'm connected and for SD card file management we have a new subsystem so this is a new commands the first one is to get content of current folder it's a root one and here we can see that some of of them it's folders some other it's files and so on so I can for example go and change a directory to documents it's a case sensitive and now again cut and this is a list of what is inside so we have two possibility to send some files to power supply uh, this is a download operation and vice versa upload operation allows us to get some file from power supply from its SD card to PC we can start with upload and try to transfer uh, let's say this one so here we have a progress bar and here we have a progress bar I can even abort it and on the other side I will get timeout okay let's try it again okay this is a way how to to get some of your data logging file uh, received file uh, can be saved locally on disk copy to clipboard and we can put some note here okay like this and we can search after that comment uh, like okay it's it's here good uh, now we can go in other side so try to download something from actually send something from PC to to our power supply and for that operation uh, we add a custom script 
which is hide uh, beneath that send file icon here and here I can say where to download this is my file which I want to download from local disk and destination file here we have destination file is this and some advanced property uh, show us what actual skippy commands is used and we can start that again we have file transfer progress on this side and here <coughs> I can also abort that on one on one on other side. Good. And we will get different type of item. Again, uh, we can also save that somewhere else on the disk, copy that on clipboard and again put a note. like this okay now we can continue with data logging implement the data logging is so called internal data logging that means that data will be stored locally and we can use a memory upload to transfer the data file to our PC to simplify usage of data logging skippy commands what we have here Uh, three custom scripts are provided in Easy Studio. One is, is for start, one is for upload finished file and the third one is to abort data logging session. In start we, we have possibility to choose what we are want to log. Let's start with something very simple. Time could be 30 seconds more and our file could be test okay so just voltage on the first channel will be logged uh, before that I can put something here. Uh, let me see. Okay. And I can, for example, see what would happen with with voltage when I connect this bulb ok, this is an indication that something is going on here so the data logging is in progress and here it's the how, how many time it's already passed just to get some close to six, 60 seconds okay. now it's finished result is success and we can upload it 
where to the same name, okay. And we automatically get some preview. And now we can see what's happened with our voltage on the channel 1. When it came to that small, this is a maximum resolution, in that maximum resolution we can see each sample. Or can looks like this. If you don't like black background, you can move it. There is uh, three different type of rendering algorithm here. You can zoom it, zoom out. You can also put here some comment. Good. Uh, we can also try with another. I will use DC motor on channel 2. We can we can try another data logging session. Uh, this time on the both channel, and we can monitor all six values, output values. Uh, this one would be like. And I will put the DC motor on second channel. And let's start it and see. Here we can see that everything is. It's now logged. Oops. Uh, and here are Now we can upload
here we, now we can see six graph three for each channel okay and here we can see what's going on okay like this and again we can put some note As you can see data logging can be very useful to monitor what's going on with your power with output of your power supply I can show you let's see a battery a small battery which no this is not uh, For example, this one here. What's happened with a battery? Which is not in a good condition. So you can see how current is changing at the beginning and the voltage and also the power uh, logging time here was one hour and when I finish with my connection or my session I just can disconnect. This is all about SD card file management and internal data logging skippy commands that came with firmware 1.1. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.